Now, this last point I really want to drive home with you guys, and if you made it this far, this is the only thing that really matters in this video and in life in general, as crazy as it seems. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek, AKA Flipping a House, and today we're gonna be breaking down how to get started in real estate. It doesn't matter if you wanna be an investor, a wholesaler, or a full-time realtor, all of these steps are gonna be applicable and they're easy to digest, so stay tuned, it's gonna be another good one. So if you're watching this video, you just thought about real estate as a career, or maybe it's been in the back of your mind for a few years and you're ready to take action. Well, you've come to the right place. And as someone who's been a full-time investor for the last five and a half years, I can tell you that I've learned a lot and I've took a lot of losses, but I want to give you guys actionable steps so that you can succeed in this business because most people don't even make it past two years. And I'm going to talk about why that is. And then I'm also going to give you steps so that you guys not only make it past two years, but you flourish and grow in this business as I have and uh, it's actually pretty simple so let's get into it so the first thing that I want to talk about is knowledge with any new task or thing that we take on in our life it's very important to get knowledgeable on the subject at hand now for me I learned real estate through a rich dad seminar you know you hear them on the radio if you're looking to get rich in real estate or stocks and then it's really just a big sales funnel to get you to spend 50 60 70 thousand dollars on mentorship you really don't need that this day and age just because we have the internet you have people like myself who are just giving out free information to help you guys succeed so why would you go pay someone that absurd amount of money when you could just invest that money into yourself and making sure you actually succeed now it can be a lot to learn when you find out about real estate I think the first couple things you need to decide are do you want to be an investor or do you want to be a realtor and basically that means do you want to be a realtor and traditionally do real estate and sell homes and work for sellers and buyers of properties traditionally working with mortgage companies or do you want to look at the investing side which opens up a long rabbit hole you could do wholesaling fixing and flipping you could do rentals airbnb owner finance up to the list goes on and on and on now the reason that i say you need to pick one or the other because as you're going to learn through this video i like to keep things simple and when you look at real estate there's really two sides of it and you have the traditional and you have the investing side now you could also look at multifamily but it still applies you're either going to have on market or off market deals so let's talk about it but regardless the steps of getting started and getting active in the business are all the same and like I said, it all starts with learning about what you want to do. So now that we've picked whether that's investing or being a realtor, we need to simplify it even more and we need to study. So if you're being a realtor, you need to start studying, getting your real estate license, uh, possibly interviewing with brokerages that you're considering joining. Once you do get your license, uh, I would say get coffee with people that are in the business, see what they like, what they don't like. You just really start studying and engulfing yourself in the business. Now, like I told you guys, for me I started the business wholesaling real estate if you guys aren't sure what that is check out some of my other videos but basically I got started on the investing side and for me my first actionable steps was taking the knowledge that I learned at that seminar over the weekend and studying and basically dialing in on what I wanted to do next and I think that brings me to my next topic now I know we've already decided on you know do we want to do investing or the traditional route but now you need to decide on what you want to focus on. This is an important step that most people miss. See, we learn about real estate, we hear about all these exit strategies, all these wonderful things you can do, and it can be not only overwhelming, but very distracting. And I'm sure you've heard the quote, if you chase two rabbits, you'll catch none. We'll try catching six of them or eight or whatever it is. Now, I know it can be difficult for me to say this because as a real estate investor who's been doing this a while, I have multiple exit strategies, but at the end of the day, I still do the exact same thing that I did when I got started real estate and for me that was wholesaling and wholesaling in itself is just finding really good off-market deals and even though like I mentioned we have multiple exit strategies currently in our business we still just keep it simple we decided that we want to get really good at finding discounted off-market properties and that's what we still do now once we acquire them we just figure out what we want to do in our exit strategy but for you as a beginner in real estate you need to decide on what it is that you're going to do for instance if you're going to go the traditional route should you get started being a buyer's agent or a seller's agent should you start out leasing apartments should you start out doing transactional coordination for just a big brokerage to learn contracts 
right? It doesn't matter what it is that you decide, just make a decision and lean into that and keep focus. See, so many times, like I said before, we get shiny object syndrome, especially I see it in the investor world because there's even more things to do when it comes to exits on that side of the business. And so many people want to do this and that and that and this, but they haven't conquered or gotten good at one thing. See, there's a really good book. It's called literally The One Thing. And in that book, it just talks about honing in on those skills, figuring out what that skill is. And for you, I don't know what that may be, but for me at the time, it was wholesaling and finding really good off-market deals. And I can tell you almost six years later, I'm doing the exact same thing. I wanna step in here and talk about this because like I said before, most people on average do not make it past two years in real estate. And I think a lot of this has to do with they don't find consistency because they're trying to do too many different things at once. They never got good at one skill. They're trying to do six different things and honestly, they suck at all of them. So then what happens? They're constantly starting over and within those two years and by year two, they're just mentally exhausted, they're burnt out and they haven't made money. And honestly, real estate is a momentum based business. The more you put in is the more you get out. However, it's going to take a longer time than a traditional job where you're getting paid every Friday. For instance, for me, it took me six months to get my first deal. So if you're still working a job, I highly advise you to keep it as long as possible, but there's gonna come a point where you have to do real estate full time if you want to succeed and make a lot of money. See, the thing of it is, is it's gonna be very scary to quit your job eventually, but there is no selling cap in real estate or a sales business, but that's a different video for a different day. So getting back to it, just as a quick review, you need to study, you need to learn what it is you wanna do. Second, you need to decide on what it is that you're going to do and focus on that one thing until you get really good or start closing deals with it. Number three, it ties in with number two, but it's focus. Focus is everything in this business. And like I said, there's so many things that can distract you and get you out of your way. But I think it's like the turtle in the hair. So many things like crypto and NFTs and all these things are going to look attractive, but just get really good at that one thing and focus on that. And I promise you over time, that one skill is going to lead to other things. For instance, I got really good at finding off-market deals. I had people reach out to me that were willing to lend us money, and so I started buying rentals. We did that, I rehabbed a property, and then I was like, hey, maybe we should flip properties. And now we're doing all of those things in Airbnbs, and it's just exciting, but the point being, we still do the one thing and we focus on that. And that's finding good off-market properties. Now, this last point I really wanna drive home with you guys, and if you made it this far, this is the only thing that really matters in this video and in life in general, as crazy as it seems. And that is staying consistent. So many times in life we start new things and we give up after a month and then we try to go again. And like I said before, a lot of things in life and in business are momentum based. And it's gonna be very hard when you're not making money to stay consistent with something, especially when you're new at it. But I can tell you time and time and time again and many and many stories of people that have succeeded when they kept going. For instance, one of the kids that we mentor in my local market here was trying real estate for two years, but he was never consistent. As soon as he started working with us, I told him, Steven, you have to stay consistent. And he did. And what happened? Over the last year, he's done eight to 10 deals in real estate, possibly breaking six figures. And it's all because he stayed consistent. So as a final review, guys, if you're getting into this business, you need to study, figure out what it is you wanna do in this business. Then once you know what that is, decide. And once you decide, focus. Focus on that task at hand every day until you succeed at it. And then number four, stay consistent. And whatever it is you're doing, stay consistent. The best results happen over time and you will succeed. But if you guys have made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate you. If you're not already, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications because I'm dropping fire content like this every week. And if you wanna see what my daily life looks like as a full-time real estate entrepreneur, make sure you check out some of my vlogs and some of our projects. If you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Until next time, guys. Peace.